Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get Soul Guitar in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. So before you go and purchase Soul Guitar, you will need 500 bones, which you can get from Haunted Castle enemies all the way down here. 250 ectoplasm, which you can get from enemies in the cursed ship in the second sea. One dark fragment from dark beard raid boss in the second sea, which you can spawn with a fist of darkness at the dark arena. And finally, 5,000 fragments. The soul guitar can only be bought after completing the soul guitar puzzle. You need to be level 2,300 or above in order to start the puzzle. If you start the puzzle, it should save where you're up to. Now let's get on to the puzzle. Step one, when it's a full moon, obviously now it's a half moon, but when it's a full moon, you need to go over to this gravestone and then pray. Some words will pop up on your screen and then the screen goes black. Then it goes away and the puzzle starts. Step two, you need to go over to the living zombies, which are at the opposite side of the island. When you're there, you need to kill six living zombies at the same time with the same attack. It is best to gather them into one spot and then use moves with AoE that do not knock them back to get them all low health so you can kill them. For example, I've got them all into the same spot and now I'm going to damage them. And there we go, they're all dead at the same time. Completing each puzzle will say excellent, so you know you have done it. Step three, go back to the graveyard. When you are here, there'll be signs on each side of this path at every row of graves. So for example, there'll be one here, 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 and here, and then the same on the other side. Starting furthest away from the house, you will need to click on whichever side and whichever sign has more graves on that side. The pattern is right, right, left, right, left, left, left. Again, the pattern is right, right, left, right, left, left, left. Step four. Go inside the castle and then up the ramp. When you are up the ramp, you should see that the room at the end of the hallway has opened. Now somewhere around here, there will be an NPC which you can talk to, which should be a ghost. Talk to the ghost and then your screen goes black for a second before it disappears and then you've done that. Step 5. Go out of the room and then to the right towards the Soul Reaper's spawn. Now you don't want to go in there, but instead look backwards, zoom out and look down and to the right, there will be this garden. Either memorize the pattern or screenshot the pattern of trophies that will be there and which way their handles are facing. Once you have done that, head down to the basement. Over here in the basement, there's this big screen with something that looks like the garden outside. So what you can do is click on the slots where the trophies were and make it so that the lines on the buttons align with the handles on the trophies. If there wasn't a trophy in that spot, you can leave it blank. This is an example here. The trophies are random for everyone, so you cannot copy the example. Step six. Now, right near the pad that you were just clicking, there will be other pads on the floor in a line like this. Now from the other trophy pad, you will have to go onto these pads, look at the wall, and check if there are any pipes. Oh, and also the roof. If there are any colored pipes, then you will click the pad on the floor until it changes to the color of that pipe. If there is no colored pipe, then you leave it black. So the pattern will be black, black, then it's red, then blue, then black, then green, then black, then it's red, black, then blue. Once you've done that, it will say congratulations. After that, you can go to this machine right here and buy 
the Soul Guitar. It's one of the best guns in the game. These are the moves. The click ability. So this gun has an awesome click where you click it and it makes an instrument uh, guitar sound and shoots something that explodes on contact. It does a high amount of damage if you have gun stats, which I do not currently. And it has a large AOE hitbox. It can also be used to destroy objects like trees. It's very good to spam in PvP. The Z move, Soul Shaker. So the Soul Shaker is much like Kabucha's Z move, but instead of it being slow and right in front of you, it is very fast and starts from above you. As you can see, it starts from a little bit in front and then also above you towards your mouse. It pushes the opponent away very far and it's very fast. And it's also really long ranged. One of the major differences between this move and Kabucha's X move is that this move does not break observation haki, whereas Kabucha's X move does. Soul Shaker is a very good chip move when you are at a medium to far range from your opponent just to get them away from you while your other moves come back on cooldown. X move, El Diablo. So the X move creates a skull which makes a giant AoE around you which stuns the opponent, sends them upwards, and hits them constantly while they are in it. The awesome thing about this is not only does it break observation, but it also heals you. It heals your max health by 3%, and it also heals with 10% of the damage you've dealt with it. This is the move right here. As you can see, it launched them upwards, and they are constantly taking damage within it. This is it again. It can be great for starting combos and also restricting where your opponent can move to. Here is the rough range of where the moves go to. So I am standing right here and using El Diablo. It has a very big AoE around you. And then if I stand at this corner here and use Soul Shaker aimed towards a wall, it hits the wall. As you can tell, that's very far. I believe it's one of the longest ranged moves in the game. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.